Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our explorers with the World War II time frame. Today, ladies and gentlemen, you are in for a treat. We are going to do an underwater explore with our ROV and you are going to join us. And the history that we're going to share with you here today is just absolutely awesome. So why don't you come along and we'll find history together right here. During the Second World War, Germany had thousands of freight vessels transporting goods all over the globe. And they could be guns and tanks and munition, troops, supplies. And they were like the lifeline, the nerve between the motherland Germany and all the places where the Germans, where they went to and where they took areas and held them for the duration of the war. And some of these vessels, they are actually even today still as vessels, but some of them are down in the bottom of the ocean. And today's story is going to bring you back in time and you're going to see what took place right here. And this is a absolutely fantastic story. Today's story is about one specific freight vessel. And to bring you into the kind of location and the story behind it, I need to take you back into the history of the crib to tell you the story of what happened before this event and the location that we are at right now. All right, let me see. Today's going to be an underwater explorer. We're going to use the Firefish V Evo underwater ROV that is just amazing. 4K camera, omnidirectional, six thrusters, can do just pure magic and you're going to see that in that video later but let me fill you in so you can get a context of what is going on here so we are in the beginning of uh, 1945 there's a german uh, vessel that is loading troops and equipment that is going to go back to germany why well that's because the germans needed thousands of troops and gear back to defend Germany because the war was going towards the end and that is basically what, why they were here. And then what the Germans didn't know that was local saboteurs managed to put limpets onto the hull of the vessel when they were in harbor and these two uh, saboteurs were very very clever they managed to get down with a little rubber dinghy attached 10 explosive chargers with a preset delay and the main thing was that the vessel was supposed to go here but it was delayed because it was supposed to wait for another vessel and the saboteurs didn't know that so the vessel came much later it was supposed to explode out here in the open ocean but it actually exploded on the way out to the open ocean and the thing is that the uh, uh, captain decided to try and save the crew and the, some of the gear and he rammed the vessel ashore. This is an image you can see about or what it looked like in the vessel before it left. These are taken on that vessel and you can see also here are the troops entering the vessel and then none of them knew what was going on. The vessel was completely full of trucks, tanks, guns, equipment and around 1200 men and the saboteurs mission was to prevent this to happen because then that will weaken the defenses that will be later in Germany. So why are we here? Well we are here with the underwater ROV because we want to see if there could be something that tells us that that story is true that it happened right there or can we find anything at all? Well you just have to stick around and we'll share whatever comes up. So there you have it. That is the background of this location here. And as you saw, the captain rammed the vessel right up here. And that is that pier there. So our mission here today is to see if we can go down with the underwater ROV and we can actually find or see features or details or items from that split moment in time when the German captain decided to ram that vessel all the way up to the shoreline there. And I will show you an image of what this scene actually looked like during those hours. That's exactly what the uh, picture was. And 
What a spectacular place. But now, me and Eagle Eyes is gonna go over to the pier and make all the gear ready. This Explorer adventure is part of the Touching History Tour that you enables us to do. We thank you for letting us have the opportunity to do that. It's been an absolute blast. We're having so much fun and learning so many things. So thank you each and every one of you who subscribe, comment, share. It's just such an honor to be able to go out and share these moments with you. Very, very nice, beautiful location, huh, Igelois? Yes, it's beautiful. And uh, do you think we'll be able to see something that could be from the event? Yes. On the water? Maybe. We're Maybe hoping not. for something, but we are not sure. But this is exactly what you would have seen this vessel. It would come here. It was supposed to go out there. Then it had the deviate in here. The captain rammed it ashore. And actually, almost 100% of the crews were saved. And that is thanks to the captain's um, way of thinking that if I ram the ship ashore, maybe some of the freight could be saved and also the crews would be saved, except from swimming in from all the way over there, which is like a couple of kilometers. It is always very exciting to go to a location where you can actually see images that was taken of what took place and to come down this hillside here and to actually see where that original little harbor was and just to imagine the incredible view it would be. Yep, that took place right here. The vessel was laying here and kind of sloping down here. And I see that this wooden thing was probably not there, but it seems like this concrete pier was here. It doesn't look like too bad. Visibility could be bad, but nevertheless, wow. We are here, guys and girls. As I said, thanks to you. How incredible. Now, all we have to do is to rig the ROV, go down here, and who knows what we can find. Today, we're gonna use the Firefish V Evo. It is a spectacular underwater ROV. It's an omnidirectional ROV, can go down to 100 meter depth, uh, has several hours of run time, six thrusters, very powerful. You have a camera, 4K camera, strong LEDs, different kind of tools you can attach in the front. We use specialized tools that a friend of us or a supporter helps us out with that is uh, absolutely fantastic. William is running Sealink Systems and he's producing some absolutely spectacular, innovative um, attachments for the grabber. So if you need that, this is the contact address to his company. And I can promise you, they will not break. They just do whatever they want to do or you need it to do. And this one has been through so much. So thank you, William, for your very kind support. Also, thank you to QIC for letting us have the opportunity to work with this incredible little tool. Um, you do very innovative work and it's because of people like you that we can go out and find and explore underwater. And I just can't wait to do that here today. All right, everything is done. I'm going to now switch over, so I'm going to do some screen recording with the, uh, with the screen here. So I need the microphone to do that. So uh, down we go. So there it is. Eagle Eyes is testing the LEDs. Yeah, off LEDs. Open the grabber. Yeah, then down. And then go 360 a little bit. We are ready to go. I'm just gonna have the light on first step here. The water is actually pretty... Um... Do you have to pull out so much? I'm just giving you extra, extra. Yeah, just leave it there for a little second. Oh, yeah, that's not. So my mission now is to just cruise around and see if I can come across something whatsoever. And uh, for those of you who think this is easy, I can promise you it is not, but it is easy to use this ROV. Just have to tell you that it's not difficult whatsoever. Right now I'm kind of like 
absolutely down in the darkness here. What a beautiful view. Just imagine this happening right here. All of that activity. All of these guys having to swim ashore. Boy, oh boy, it's dark down here. Really, really dark down here. What is that? There's something here. What is that? What is that? That is definitely something, you guys. Let me see around here if there's something else as well so I don't get stuck into something. Wow, I think there's something here, you guys. Well, some of the vehicles were actually slid off the deck and that is what I'm hoping for, that I can actually see some of the vehicle uh, chassis. Is that really it? I have to go forward to see it, guys. Okay. Oh, we need the light all the way. Oh, wow. What is that? Is that a wheel? Let's go over here. Is the tether with me? Because it's getting pretty difficult to maneuver. Wow. Is that current? Is that is the current? towards me that is one of the uh, undercarriages for one of the vessels no, sorry one of the vehicles see that that is crazy because something some of the vehicles slid off the uh, vessel and it's right there holy cow we actually found one piece that is amazing I'm just gonna see if I can um, get a bit closer to it getting some strange reaction for the ROV here now it's very very difficult to control it so I'm not sure what's going on oh it's definitely a vehicle wow look at that could it be a gun let me go a little bit closer here holy cow let me go up wow it's one of the vehicles it's one of the chassis eagle eyes we have 100% confirmation now. This is one of the vehicles that was on the vessel. You have got to be kidding me. And we found it. Last time that was hoisted on to the vessel, the anticipated uh, reception harbor was in Germany. And now it's standing right there on the bottom of the ocean. Let's see if we can get very close to the tire there. Wow, what if we could see uh, some riding on the tire, would that be cool? Let's see how close we can get here. There's a lot of current here now. Is the tide going out, something like that, I'm not sure, see that? Then it goes completely away. It looks like the tide is going out. The tide is going out, I can really feel it. That is awesome. Let me go a bit up, like this. Definitely, like a ghost, like a ghost down there. See that? I'm really struggling against some kind of current or something here. Really, really struggling. That is amazing. That was once loaded on the docks here. And then the saboteurs did their work. They sunk the vessel and today it's here. I just want to get close to that tire there. This is amazing. Thank you QYC for letting us have the opportunity to go out and find, you know, history like this. This is awesome. Just awesome. See that? You can see the tire there. So that tread was supposed to touch mother earth in germany and do its last effort in the war against the allies the success was a hundred percent the vessel went down with its cargo this is amazing wow wow so we are 22 meters another vehicle 
remember guys and girls this was on the vessel and it capsized and this came down into the deep and now we are here and we can actually see the spare tire laying in the back there see that that will never never be used again that's a military vehicle uh, tire but I want to see what we saw further down here what is that this is amazing that we actually found this I'm very aware about the uh, it could be fishing lines and stuff like that so I'm constantly looking out for that see here it's definitely another vehicle right there and that's the frame but let's check out that thing we saw here let me see where is that that's further down here I think yeah let's go over here so there are pieces from that exact moment these came tumbling off the ship and now they're just kind of laying here see that what is that there are rumors of of uh, dismantled uh, aircrafts as well. Is that it? Let's see if we can get a bit further over here. That looks very strange. See that can? What is that? If anyone has an idea, let me know. I've never seen anything like that. Could it be for a motorcycle? A three wheel motorcycle like a BMW? This is really exciting. What is that thing? Is that a pipe or a tube or something? Wow, interesting. What is that? Let's see if we can go over to this side. Feel free to let me know if you think you know what this could be. I'm kind of going with a side wagon for a motorcycle, a three-wheeled motorcycle or something like that. Very, very strange. See that? Wow. This is already a full success, to be honest. I'm just trying to get my bearing here. This is so exciting. What is that thing? Anybody help me? <laughs> was something further behind me as well but that was like four meters high so I really don't want to mess into that just like a lever there I don't know that is a very exciting little object wow what can I say? This thing here is spectacular. Grabber works as well. I don't know about you guys, but it is such an incredible experience to go down there and, and just see what the history is all about. And we do that when we take the ROVs down and dives like this. And it's such an honor and pleasure to be able to do it, as I said. And I, I'm just stunned to see the technology that is out there. It gives us the opportunity to do what you see. It's absolutely wonderful. I really feel like a Jules Verne with a special private submarine going down there. And that's exactly what we did. We did find something spectacular. We found the left pieces the, the only pieces that are still left that tells the story about what happened right here well uh, before i continue this was part of our touching history tour that a lot of you helped us out to reach we want to say a huge thank you to all our patreon team members we want to say a huge thank you to all of you watching subscribing and to all of you helping us out with paypal donations but i promised that i would do something special for each and every one of you who made a little donation on the super thanks feature here 
It's basically your opportunity to help us out, get some gasoline to the fuel tank and go out and find places like this incredible German World War II supply vessel location. Each and every one of you decided before we left that you wanted to become historical because I bring this with me at that day. This was, I couldn't bring it because of special circumstances. I actually locked out my key in the camper van or I locked it inside. Ah, this is a long story. So I didn't have that in my hand, but I wanted to show it to you here. Each and every one of you helped us out with a something special on the Super Thanks feature. And I just want to say a special thank you so much for doing that. And you are historical because you are with us creating these incredible stories that we can share with everybody. So thank you for that. But um, it might be that some of you noticed that this kind of ended a little bit abrupt. Uh, it did. Um, all I can say is that we actually did a rather special uh, discovery. I cannot uh, disclose or, or, sh or sh tell you anything more about it other than, um, well, something really, really special was discovered and I just cannot tell you too much about it right now. But um, that is why it kind of just boom, stopped like that because uh, we were completely set back and uh, overwhelmed by what we saw and uh, it took us some time to really figure out what the next step would be but uh, we did the right thing and a lot of things happened uh, and that's it. So I might be able to tell you a little bit more about that later but for now I can tell you this thing here is absolutely a stunning tool to do underwater explore suite. With that 4K camera, with the very bright LEDs, omnidirectional capacity, 100 meter depth rating, all of that. Well, just forget that. This thing here, you can grab it like that, and you can just carry it around in a backpack, and you have a controller, you have your little phone, boom! You can be Jewel Verne, and you can discover and find amazing things. So. That is just something that I do appreciate so much that people sit down and just take their time to create that thing. And uh, I'm just stunned to see all the stuff that is probably in there that does that possible. You can see we can just sit on the top, go down and show you these incredible images. It, I don't know what to say. Thank you QYC for being so innovative to do this, to create these things. And it's so capable, so handy, so easy to bring around. You can see the backpacks that we're carrying around. It, it is just amazing. And I didn't even get wet. The only thing you get wet is when you pull it up by the tether and you get a little bit wet in your hand. You don't have to put on a dry suit or diving gear. And that's what makes that kind of exploring so fantastic. And yes, we did manage to take you down into the deep where some of these guys actually lost some of their stuff. And well, as I said, we're gonna tell you a little bit more about it later. Nevertheless, absolutely incredible explore. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for supporting us. Remember, if you wanna help us out, watch the videos in full. Don't skip, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, let our notifications come true. And I can promise you, we will surprise you. Maybe next time in a very special adventure out there for you and us together to share something very special. Thank you, stay safe, keep smiling, and we'll definitely see you later.